Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Interesting way to start off this video, I know. But I feel like I should start it out by saying, do you guys remember <laughs> MAC Cosmetics? Because I feel like no one talks about it anymore. Because back in the day, MAC was that girl, all right? If you owned one MAC lipstick, let alone, you know, 10, 20, you were that girl that everyone wanted to sit next to in the cafeteria, all right? The lip glasses, everyone wanted a Z palette with all the single eyeshadows in it, the, the palettes, the foundation. Everyone was NW45, doesn't matter what your actual skin tone was, everyone was NW45. And yet years later, here we are. <laughs> and the only time you really hear people talking about MAC Cosmetics is to ask what happened to MAC Cosmetics. Now there are a couple things that, you know, caused the decline in the company. Um, mainly just, you know, like competition. There were not as many makeup brands back in the day as there are now and, you know, they 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 have eyeshadows, they have foundations, they have this, they have that, and that kind of leads to the next thing. That's like the main reason why people kind of just stop talking about MAC, because I feel like over time, MAC just got comfortable, you know? They, they knew they were that girl, you know? They were who every makeup artist was using and who everyone wanted to use. They knew all of this, so because they were already a household name, it feels like over time, they just got comfortable and they were like, you know, we can just rely on the fact that we're MAC Cosmetics. We don't have to come out with anything innovative or anything like that. Um, um, until recent years, I think like it started to kick in for them like, oh, okay, they can just go get, you know, Fenty Beauty, they can just go get Anastasia. So we can't just say we're MAC Cosmetics, we can just rely on that and, you know, a celebrity collab every now and then. Oh, okay. I feel like they just, they just realized that very recently. Um, and there are other things about MAC that um, I feel is the reason why people just do not talk about it as much. So with that being said, that's probably the reason why recently I saw a Mac launch that actually had me interested. And I'm pretty sure that's the first thing I've been interested in in a while. Cause like, it's not like they stopped releasing things. They've been releasing products. It's just people aren't interested anymore until I saw this palette on Coco Swatches. Yeah, I saw it on Coco Swatches then I went to go look it up. This is their Star Dipped Face Compact. It's part of their holiday collection. Um, this is the medium deep option. They have another one, which I'm assuming is, you know, fair medium. Um, now, when I saw medium deep online, I was, I was here for it. And then I got medium deep in person. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a face compact. So there's a bronzer, a blush, and then two highlights here a bronzer, a blush, and then two highlights. Now, I have been using this for about a week, so this is not like a first impressions for me. I already know what it is with this palette, but let me just go ahead and use it on my face so you can understand why I am where I, I'm at with this palette. All right, so first we're gonna use that bronzer shade. I'm pretty sure the bronzer is what I was most intrigued to try from this compact, just because I've never tried a shimmer bronzer before look when you start talking you know bronzers for my skin tone it's just kind of like a, there's a hair attached to my lip and i can feel it move every time my mouth moves um when you start talking about bronzer for my skin tone it's just kind of like a you take what you can get so it's not like i have that many options to begin with so i don't believe i've ever tried a shimmer bronzer so when i saw this well how it looked in the pictures i was intrigued to see what a shimmer bronzer would look like so we're just gonna go ahead and use that bronzer there let's even double layers this is the second layer of this bronzer that i'm going in with there so that is the bronzer on my face there we're just gonna finish using the whole palette before i say anything now you see how where am i this shade kind of reflects pinkish there that's what i thought when i saw the pictures would be the blush but where am I? but this is the blush here this is actually like a goldish highlight that actually reminds me of trophy wife from fenty beauty that's what this color actually ends up looking like so this is a blush right here i'm gonna go ahead and use the blush i've used shimmer blushes before i actually like those um and then i like putting a like powder blush on top of it so i'm gonna go ahead and use the blush there I think using this for a week has taught me what not to do because the very first time I used it it looked like I took my highlight all the way over here when it was just the blush on my face because you know it's a shimmer 
blush, you know, like, you know, it's, it's on my cheek area. So I used it where you would put blush, but I think I've learned my lesson yet. But that is the blush on top of the bronzer there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this powder so I can spray down my face before I apply the highlight. And then for highlight, I'm gonna use this shade because, you know, like I mentioned, this looks like, this one looks like Trophy Wife. And you know, I, I ain't try to glow like that today. I'm okay, you know, I'm, I'm good on that. And I'm pretty sure getting your hair caught in your lip gloss is like top two makeup pet peeves and it ain't number two. But I am done with my face. This is what it's looking like. This. This is the best uh, view we can have here of what the bronzer, blush, and highlight look like on the face. I've had about a week to play around with this, see how I'm liking it. Now, I think the obvious is, you know, for a medium deep palette, especially when we consider the fact that there are people who are much deeper than I am out there, and this is their medium deep palette, it's not that much of a medium deep there. Um, let me actual, actually swatch the shades on my skin. All right, so this is the bronzer. Can you see it? Like your bronzer shouldn't like if you're my skin tone, actually any skin tone, your bronzer shouldn't blend in to your hands there. This is the blush. This is the highlights one. And then highlight two. Oh, it does actually come out pinker. Pinky goldish there. I guess you could use that as, mm, I'm, eh. I guess you could use this as a blushy there. That's a little too sheen pink for me as a blush, but those are what the shades look like there. I feel like if the palette actually had the depth that it had when I saw it online, like this low key could have been a fire palette because even though, you know, it low key don't look like that much on my skin tone. Y'all know I like my makeup like that anyway. Like I've never been the person who liked that, you know, blinding or cutting um, contour and bronzer. I've never been that flashy with highlight and stuff like that. So that's actually like right up my alley there. I feel like it gives, you know, very slight, slight bronzy, you know, little bronze goddess going on there. Just slightly though, because of how the shades are. Um, so that would actually be right up my alley if the shades were just just a little bit deeper there for my skin tone. Now, with that being said, this is $42. This is a $42 palette there. So I feel like I low-key could have done this with four highlights that I already own. I Actually, no, I was right. It's just reflecting off the light as pinky, but, you know, sitting here when you're not shining light to it it's it's gold it's you know like duo type thing there so actually you probably maybe don't want to use it as a blush or actually you know, after you spend 42 dollars use the palette however you want to but i was saying is um i feel like i could just use a you know brown highlight that i already own if i wanted to get that brown shimmer effect for my bronzer here and actually this is probably browner than the bronzer in the mac palette there um and i'm sure i have you know a blush a shimmer blush this shade and we already know i already own highlights that shade so that's the only thing there you know spending 42 dollars to purchase something that you might already have and you can get the same effects i'm um, just going through your own collection now if you're new to makeup you know you don't have makeup like that and you can't just pull stuff like that maybe you do still want to check it out because i actually like it i actually like the look that it gives my face um it's just again you know the whole how much are you actually adding to my face there but i like the finish of it on my face you know i think it's very easy to work with if you are a makeup artist or anything like that like you know it makes it very easier for you having things more compact that you can just put in your kit and stuff like that so now that i own it i wouldn't necessarily say that i regret it because i have used it every single time i've done my makeup since the first time let me say the first time that was a mess because I went into it not knowing like what I was expecting and like I said you know I had 
looked like I had highlight all the way to here. Um, but I've played around with it. I actually did film that. It was supposed to be more like a first impression. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, I told you guys that uh, I filmed the whole video and forgot to turn my microphone on. So here we are. Um, so I have used it since and I'm going to continue using it. I do like it. Um, I do like how it blends with the rest of my face. I do have contour on um, as well. But if I had known what I knew now when I purchased it, would I have purchased it? Probably not. Only for the reason that, like I said, like if I had watched someone else's video and they told me like I could literally pull the same thing and have the shimmer bronzer, the shimmer blush, the shimmer um, highlights from the collection I already have, then I probably wouldn't have purchased it because I really do feel like I spent $42 for a highlight palette. All of these shades could be shade, all of them, even the, the bronzer shade could be shades that I could use to highlight my face. So that's why if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have. But now that I own it, I don't regret it. So, you know, if you still want to purchase it, I, I'm not sure that you would necessarily hate it. Um, it's it's not like it's a bad like it the the formula itself is bad but you know i feel like you guys are getting the point here if you did still want to purchase it, you know you got it like that so you know you feel like treating yourself or something like that sure go ahead um but you're not uh, uh, like i said if you have a makeup collection already you're not you're not really missing out on anything here i don't even wear a highlight like that anymore i feel like i bought a 42 dollar highlight palette and i you guys know i don't really highlight my face like that anymore so that's the reason why i'm just kind of just kind of let down a little bit by this however i am actually intrigued now in shimmer bronzer because like i said i like how it looks on my face i feel like it contributes to that not necessarily you know dewy gloss why do I keep saying glossy? Glowy type of finish to your face, but just kind of, you know, illuminated, natural, like your skin is popping, you clearly mind your business and drink your water every day type of finish. So I do want to explore more into shimmer bronzers. But again, I am at the point where I really just got to take whatever I can get when it comes to bronzers. So if you guys know of any, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I feel like that is pretty much it. For this video, I hope seeing me test this out has helped. If any of you wanted to check it out for yourself. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.